Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today I'm going to try a new palette. This is from Suva Beauty, I believe that's how they pronounce it. And this is the Protégé palette. This came in the December BoxyCharm. So a lot of you guys said, why don't you try out some of the products in the BoxyCharm so you can tell us about them. So you see you have a large mirror there and you have these beautiful shades and of course you can use them on the eyes. It looks like you can use these two side colors if you want it on the cheeks as highlights as well or um, blush toppers. So I'm going to jump into this palette. I think it's very, very pretty and uh, good job BoxyCharm. So first we're going to prime our lids. I'm using e.l.f. primer. After I allow my primer to sit on my eyes for about 30 seconds, I use a little concealer. And this one is in the shade Chestnut. It's by LA Girl Pro. And wherever there's a cream, I have to put a powder. So here's my face powder. This is from ColourPop and this is in Deep Dark. So I'm just applying that all over my lid. Now that we have a nice, smooth, well-primed surface to work with, we're going to go into this shade called Conscious. It is a deep brown shade. Let's see how it shows up on my skin tone. I'm going to be using a Sigma E25 blending brush. Very nice pigmentation on it. All right, I'm going to use the shade Aesthetic. I'm going to be using a short shader brush. This is the E20. I'm going to take my short shader brush and take that color aesthetic along the bottom lash line. I'm gonna take the M10, that's the shade number, uh, from Makeup Forever. This is a pencil. I'm gonna go on my waterline with that. All right, guys, I'm gonna put a little bit of this lash primer on. This is from CoverGirl. I'm gonna put that on my bottom lash line because I want these lashes to pop down here. I'm gonna go into this gel liner and this is from Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics. This also came in a boxy charm a few months back. I really like it, nice and creamy. I'm gonna use a Sigma E10 eyeliner brush. I'm gonna put on some Ardell lashes. These are 105s and I actually doubled them up so you're gonna see two lashes put together. This is the Pore Minimizing Primer by CoverGirl. We're moving on to our face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. I'm going to be using my favorite foundation. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. This is in the shade Coco. And to apply it, I'm gonna be using my favorite foundation brush. This is the Sigma Flat Kabuki, the F80. Guys, I'm going to do a little concealer under my eyes. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, I did have to go up on my liner. When you have hooded eyes, sometimes little mistakes happen. Okay, so this ColourPop uh, concealer is in the shade Deep Dark 50. In this month's BoxyCharm, they have a pretty vulgar translucent setting powder. That's what it looks like. All of their packaging is so vintage-like and pretty. It comes with a pretty pink puff. So let's see how translucent this translucent powder is. Because when you're darker skin tone, it says translucent, but then when you put it on your eyes, on your face, unfortunately, it's too light. Pretty good, pretty good. I didn't apply much because I'm frightened. I don't wanna mess up the whole look. And let me give you a little swatch of it on my hand. It, it turned out pretty nice. It's very finely milled. It's a beautiful powder, it really is. So not too bad. 
All right, I'm going to apply a mascara down there before I forget. I'm gonna use Wonder Beauty. This also came in a boxy charm. Remember, I put the primer on. And also, I decided to go through my uh, makeup collection and find all of the different BoxyCharm products I've had throughout 2018 and just see if I'm using them regularly because once they blend in with the red other products that I have, sometimes I forget they came from BoxyCharm. So I'm gonna look through my videos from January to now and I'm going to see how many of them I actually use, put into use every day. That should be very interesting. All right, we're going back into the Protégé palette. I'm gonna put that inner corner uh, color in that is structure. This is just a little e.l.f. concealing brush. When I do something really, really tiny inner corner, this is a nice brush to use. Oh, nice sparkle, beautiful. Just a little bit of contour powder. This is from Sasha Cosmetics. Yes, I'm using a Extreme Structure Contour Brush. This is a F04 from Sigma. And then I blend it a bit using another Sigma brush. This is the Duo Fiber. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush here gonna be using the Sasha Cosmetics blush again. This one is in the shade Barely Plump. This is actually a luminous blush from Becca. It's called Camellia. It's a bit too light for my skin tone, but what I can do is use it as a topper. So be like a little bit of a sheen on my cheek. So that's what I do whenever I wear the Barely Plum. Just a little sheen. You see that? All right, guys, I'm gonna use my Palladio uh, lip pencil. This is in the shade Coffee. Now there is a lip pencil in this month's BoxyCharm. This is from Bodyography and it's in the shade Heatherberry, but it's a little too light for my skin tone. It's like I could, well, I could color in my lip. You can barely even see that. I could color in my lip with it, but uh, it doesn't work as an outliner for me. Kind of close to the uh, lip stick I will be applying. This is from um, Urban Decay. It's called 66. And it's very close to that. So the lip pencil is there. Yeah, very close to 66. A nice dupe there. Hope you guys can see it. And then in the Boxy Charm, they also have a lip gloss. And this is from Tarte. It's called the Tartiest Shimmering Lip Paint. That's the packaging. Nice sparkly lip gloss. Oh, it's beautiful. And it smells like cookies. So let me throw on some hair to complete my look and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. So this is the completed look and it came out beautifully. Uh, let's just go over the things that were in BoxyCharm and how much each item was again. Uh, you have the Tarte Glitter Lip Paint, which was absolutely gorgeous. This retails for 20 bucks. And again, mine was in the shade Insta Famous. Beautiful. It is a little bit sticky, but I can deal with that. It's cute. The next product was the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder. It was excellent. I really, really like this. This um, blended in with my skin pretty well. Not perfect, but pretty well. And it's very finely milled. And that retails for $32. All right, we have the Suva Beauty Protégé Palette. I really like it. Nice and large, big mirror. You're gonna like it. This is 
$34. You have the Bodyography uh, Pencil. I believe this was, yes, this is a lip pencil and this is in the shade Heatherberry and this retails for 12 bucks. And lastly in the box was from Cosmetics. I'm gonna possibly use that tonight after I take all of this stuff off. This is uh, 30 bucks and it is a detox activated charcoal mask. It says that it visibly improves the brightness of your skin while activating charcoal and clay draw out dirt and impurities from your pores. Uh, my favorite product in the box was the palette. I really like that. If you receive something different in your BoxyCharm, please leave it down in the comment section. Oh, also I know a lot of people ask about the weight of my box. It was 0.95 pounds. So I will leave a lot of goodies down in the description box. Check it out. If you would like to join the BoxyCharm team for 2019 and get on board with us with all these goodies, please click my affiliate link down below. I really appreciate it. If not, that's okay too. Glad to have you come and view this video. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Cyber kisses. Bye.